Yeah, I'm gonna keep the extra doctor, because that was really helpful. I got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not so bad. Boy, I bet there's a lot of traps in between us and them, though. So, you're a Vito Lago. We still have a couple firebombs. There's Leandra. Man at arms. Veteran. Sergeant Hunter. Trapper. Hunter. Where are you? More ranged guys. No, one soldier. So, one, two, three shooters. One doctor. And four scouts. Or, four fighty people. Unknown amount of traps. Well, screw that. Uh, where's my scout at? <laughs> I'm okay with them coming this way. Ah, almost. Well, there's no traps. I was really expecting some. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> now you're on fire. Oh, look, traps. Someone might come around this way, but I'm just gonna go... Refused flank. Screw it. I like how it's just a hand to, to kind of help them up. That's neat. See, now that I know they're there, I don't know what to do about it, though. Like, don't I still set them off? <laughs> I like that she's on fire. Yeah, you're a doctor. You're just kind of pissing in the wind. Ah! <coughs> okay. Smoke bombs, eh? Yeah, I've kind of given up on trying to shoot people. This way, we shall oblige them. We shall marry J. Blige them. The most ignoble of deaths. So even if I know they're there, I, I set them off, which kind of sucks. I'll stab you, Mr. Person. And then I'm going to cut you in half. contact with Teresa. Holy crap! That's pretty awesome.
kill them. Stuns for everybody. Okay, I'm okay with this. Yeah. People are still on fire. Mm. I wonder how long fire lasts without a doctor healing you. Oh no, the doctor's coming to get me. I like fire bombs. Looking bow too. Yep, Leander's not on fire anymore. So it looks like fire is over. Oh God, that was bad. down here, screw it. Doctor, but 23 hit points on a hunter isn't a big deal. Yes. Like, hell, I think my doctor would be able to do that. Oh, I'm stunned. Stab him. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> As I said, Doctor Fight. <laughs> it's a crazy bitch with a halberd. Run away. <laughs> oh god, that was funny. Oh god. Mm, not good. Really not good. Okay, so... This takes care of Leander. Choose 
some peeling. Doctor Smash. <laughs> Sanchez is a bad mamma jamma. Quit shooting me, you pricks. Albert Doctors was the best idea ever. I I'm not really sure what else to give Doctors. I mean, they can't shoot worth a damn. Run away! Oh uh, boy, did you ever pick the wrong way to run, Bubba. <laughs> little doctor left. <laughs> the battle as dies down as suddenly as it began. One moment all is mayhem, and the next an eerie silence falls over the docks. Your troops are victorious, and only a few heavily wounded rebels have survived the battle. You order your troops to get your wounded to safety while Noriega's troops apprehend the surviving enemies. Looking across the bloody aftermath of the battlefield, you spot Leandra lying in the dust, ragged breathing, portraying that she is still alive. You... you have come to finish it. Do you deserve something else? Leandra speaks with great difficulty, her left hand clutching a gaping wound in her abdomen, while her right hand lies uselessly at her side. I only wanted... to rise, to make a difference, and be remembered. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You wanted power, but not to achieve anything. You, just so you could be powerful. That was your folly. I betrayed everyone. Please, forgive me. Everything I loved, gone. Esteban. Leandra exhales deeply, a bubbling sound escaping from her throat, and she is still. Good! Your troops collect the valuables and equipment, and they can salvage from the dead and start moving back towards the marketplace where Noriega is waiting for you. And we got lots of experience, so uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to assume it's still going on. Let's upgrade uh, Isabella. Let's see. Strider is good. Strider is very good. Uh, Relentless could be awesome. Oh, Jesus. It's horrifying. Eh, hardened is fitting for her. And we will give her... She's pretty good at patrolling. Let's have her keep doing that. You find your remaining troops in Noriega huddled together in the marketplace, struggling to open a box of wine bottles that some of Noriega's people have fetched from the cellar of Alcazar de Colón. They all cheer as you join them, and Noriega puts his arm around your shoulder. My dear friend, I cannot express how grateful I am that God brought you to this island when he did, just in the nick of time. You've saved my life and the lives of many innocent folk in Santo Domingo. I know that in my heart. I just did what I had to do. Hopefully the governor will release my ship now. A familiar authoritative voice rings out from the north. It is done! By my decree, your ship is free to leave. 
whenever you please. Capitan de los Pantalones Glorioso, your service to the city. Well, the governor walks up to you and grasps your shoulders with both hands, kissing your cheeks. We can never adequately repay you. I have ordered Chosero, the treasurer, to bring all the gold, all the rations, all the military equipment that this town can spare to your carts. Mount your expedition with my most sincere blessing, me, senor. Great. And all I had to do was win a war for you. No, let's, let's not be a dickhead now. Thank you, Governor. The governor's entire demeanor has changed completely now that the threat of violent revolution is off his shoulders. He kisses you on the cheeks, thanks you, and congratulates you again, and hurries off back to the palace. Death heaven, my dear boy! You are an incredible individual. I have already heard of your crushing victory over Leandro's rebels. You turn around to see the familiar shape of Umberto de Rossi waddling towards you. I am glad Isabella managed to keep you safe, Umberto. He turns to Isabella. Yes, indeed. I owe you my life, my dear girl. Wow. Stuff. If only we could keep you here, Death Heaven, as our Captain of the Guard. But I expect you'll be leaving us soon, now that your ship has been released. Good luck, no matter what you decide to do in the future. Derossi embraces you, kisses you on the cheeks, then he waddles off to help... <laughs> he waddles a lot. Cool. So, do we just leave? Can we not mark it anymore? Can't go anywhere. We can talk to this person. Near the docks, you are politely addressed by a large soldier dressed in an eclectic panoply, apparently built from an old black suit of armor repaired with scavenged pieces of plate mail. El Hungaro. You are Capitan de Heaven de los Pantalones Glorioso? The same. The man has a strong accent, but his syntax is impeccable. You can't quite place him, but your best guess is his accent is Eastern European. I have been searching for you. Your actions here have earned my respect. You have me at a disadvantage. I apologize. I forget myself. My name is Laszlo Paul. I am mercenary. An unusual name for these parts. Where are you from, senor? I am from Hungary. I have been fighting in many wars against Turks as mercenary in Italy. Now, what might you be doing in this Spanish country colony, then? Worth cross Hispaniola is that you are planning an expedition to the mainland. I have reasons of my own for traveling with you on this expedition. Well, if you wish to join me, you shall have to reveal that reason. There was a previous expedition, Philippe Gutierrez. From what I have learned, he took 300 men, mainlanding, hoping to claim it for Spanish crown, but not one of them has been heard from again. Among them was old friend of mine, Tamas Zaz. We served in same company in the Hungarian army. We fought together against the peasant rebels and later as mercenaries in Italy. So you are here to find your friend? Yes, yeah, something like that. If you will have me, I will serve you well, and perhaps I will find out what happened to Tomas. Yeah, sure. I'm down with that. Thank you, Capitan. You will not regret this. No problem with that at all. Uh, let's give Isabella a lot of equipment. Oh my god, they gave us a lot of equipment. Okay, cool. Wow. Oh, we can level you up. What level are you? Yeah, we should get you up to here. Shield guy. Mm. Eh, let's make him relentless. That sounds sexy. Ah, what is he? He is aggressive, altruistic, and proud. Gains morale every time you win a battle. Make him relentless. Okay, cool. So he's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go with more hunting. Okay, Marie's 30, 
seems to be the limit for... what are we? Veterans. Okay, that's good. And then 20-ish seems to be the limit for... Um, men at arms. Except for him. Well, I guess he could. No, he can't have more armor. <clears throat> he will probably have never have more armor, unfortunately. Let's uh, equip Pavlovic. Ah, oh, we're missing one. That sucks. Oh well. With your money and the decree declaring the lifting of the embargo on your ship, you board La Maria Teresa once more, and it feels like you are home, if only for a moment. In a few days, you'll be standing on the shore of the con, ready to explore the new world proper, where the mis mis mysteries of the Aztec await. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so I guess the game's going to last quite a bit longer. See, I was worried. Do I have to get new people? Oh, these are people I already have. Okay, so I can have an extra person? Yeah, we don't, we don't need you anymore. Martinez! Rita Martinez! What was I saying I could use? Ooh, plot characters! Oh, okay, yeah, we know about them. They're both soldiers. They're both hired, and then I still have... Ruiz and Okay, they don't count as my... Okay, so I need... I was thinking about another scout. I could use another hunter just for food. You must select ten expedition members to proceed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's the two plot characters. Okay, so we're mainly just we're, we're replacing Echeveria. Hmm. I don't really need another scholar. I mean, unless they're gonna make me relearn my, uh, trapping stuff, or my, uh, how-to-build things. More doctors might not be a bad way to go. Um, I don't know. Hunters might not suck at some point. They're good for food. Another scout. I think I'd like another scout in case Vidal gets hurt. Aggressive, racist, courageous. Old, too. Damn. Peaceful, cautious, adventurous. I'm okay with that. Peaceful, altruistic, courageous. Aggressive, open-minded, and pious. Yeah. Open-minded, cautious, narcissistic. Lots of chick scouts. Ah, we need another dude. Kind of a taco fest around here. Ever since he was a child, Montego always had a strong sense of civic duty and a powerful desire to find adventure and be a hero. Well, we're heroes! He should totally come with us.